Welcome lovers, I don't know what I'm doing, but you probably already knew that. And welcome to just me having fun talking. <laughs> as you can probably tell, this is recorded at the same time as the last video. And the reason for that is, uh, I'm going on a trip. <laughs> Next week for me, last week for you, I will be going or have gone to see my very best friend for the very first time. She lives in a different state. So, <laughs> so travel. But because we're going at the weekend, I needed to make sure that I had both videos ready because I would not have the time to edit and post this one by the time I would have gotten back from the trip. <laughs> if that, I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. But because I am going and slash have gone to see my best friend for the very first time, I wanted to tell you guys the story of how we met. First of all, this friendship means a lot to me in a couple of senses. The first being, it is the first friendship I have made in a couple of years that was of my own volition. Which sounds bad, but let me explain. My brain differentiates making friends on your own versus making friends through other people. All of the friends that I have made in the last couple of years, up until me and my best friend became best friends, have been through other people. Meaning somebody I already knew and was already friends with came up to me and went, hey, this is my sibling, friend, significant other, you should be friends. And that's how we became friends. Now that doesn't diminish those friendships, I still very much cherish those friendships and they're very important to me. But there is a difference between making friendships that way and actually just meeting people and making friends on my own. Which I don't do very often. <laughs> So when I am capable of doing that on my own, it feels a little bit more special to me in the sense that I was capable of making a friend. Which makes more sense in the context of people who fully understand my mental health issues, but I don't really want to get into that right now, so just know it's a little different for me. So anyone who knows pretty much anything about me knows that I am a big fan of Jacksepticeye. Last year, in 2019, he did the uh, charity live streams for every month where he had an associated pin for every month. And like a lot of people, I bought them. 2019 feels like it was three years ago. Oh my god, this year's been so long. But when I first started getting my pins in, I got super duper excited, so I decided to take a picture of it and post it on my Instagram. And I don't usually use a lot of tags, or at least I didn't at the time, so I was like, oh, maybe I should just use tags so that other people who also get excited about this stuff can you know, look at it. Lo and behold, there were a few people who found my post and were like, oh cool, so they liked it and a couple people said something about it. And I was like, sweet, people who are similar. But there was one person out of the handful that found my post that actually ended up following me and I was a little confused because I was like, this is the, like the only thing that I've posted in relevance to that. So I wonder why they decided to follow me. So I went on to their page to see what kind of stuff they posted, and they also had some posts of like different kinds of pins and stuff like that, and I was like, you know what? I always wanted to find a really good friend inside the community, so why not try? <laughs> so I followed them back. I have made friends within the community before, like when, uh, when I went to the How Did We Get Here tour, I made some friends there, and I made some friends uh, on Tumblr in the community, but none of them are like really, really close friends. They're just kind of people I know who I sometimes get to talk to about that kind of stuff. So they're friends, but they're not like friends friends. Now, obviously, I have Lobo, who uh, I can easily talk to about that kind of stuff because he's also very into that kind of stuff. But when it comes to the two of us, it's kind of like he falls more on the side of a bigger fan of Mark, whereas I fall on the side of more of a fan of Jack. So I kind of wanted to find another friend who I could talk to about all that kind of stuff who also liked Jack as much as I did. Side note, I'm kind of curious if there's anyone else who, like me and my best friend, flip between Jack and Sean. Like, if it's before a certain time period, we say Jack, but if it's uh, at the end of that through current, we call him Sean, and I like, I kind of wonder if anyone else does that. <laughs> Not the point. Just felt like bringing it up, I guess. Anyways. So we followed each other, and for several months we said absolutely nothing to each other. <laughs> I mean, we didn't know each other, we didn't know what to say, didn't know how to start a conversation, we just kind of followed each other. <laughs> and then one day she posted something on her story while I was kind of clicking through stories about writer's block and having to deal with it and being irritated about it. And I kind of had a moment of, I kind of want to talk to them about this because I was also really dealing with severe writer's block at the time. 
and I wanted to talk about that, but also this is somebody I don't know and what if they're upset about me talking to them? So I just kind of stared at it, like holding it on the screen for a little while, not knowing what to do. And then I just eventually decided, fuck it. it if she doesn't want to talk, we'll not talk. So I re responded to the story, which brought up the private message. And now, and I said something along the lines of, dude, I totally get that. Or like, I'm dealing with writer's block too. Something along those lines. And to my surprise, she responded. So we started talking about writing in the different forms of writer's block because there are different kinds of writer's block and what we were dealing with. And uh, then at some point we got into the subject of what we were having writer's block for. And I was like, yeah, I have this sequel story that I've been trying to write forever, but for the life of me, I can't get myself to start. And she was talking about a, a, a story she really enjoyed working on, but just couldn't get herself to do the next part or couldn't figure out how to continue where she was. And then from that point, we figured out we were both writing fan fiction, which in case you haven't noticed, I'm a big fan of because I write it and read it and talk about it all the time. So immediately we started clicking like, oh my gosh, you write fan fiction too? What do you write? This is what I write. And we found out that we both write alternate universe kind of stuff about YouTubers, the same YouTubers. <laughs> and mine was kind of an AU with like a game insert sort of thing with Subnautica and I was talking about that. And then hers is an egos type thing with like dark and anti in them. So we're like, oh my gosh, I don't usually read slash write the stuff that you're writing, but I would love to see what you've written. So we ended up reading each other's stories. She read my original story and I read the one she was working on and both of us ended up really enjoying each other's writing styles and stories in general. So we got even more excited and started talking about it. At some point, we just kind of started talking about life things amongst talking about fan fiction. Like it molded from fan fiction just to Jack and Mark and them to life stuff. And at some point, uh, I think it was when she was at work, she couldn't just like type out a response. She ended up sending me a recorded video of her talking. And I was like, oh, I didn't know we could do that. So I sent some back to make it easier so she wouldn't have to stop what she was doing to read. So from that point, we ended up doing a lot of just video messages. And we became really good friends really quickly because we clicked so well. We have enough things in common that it's like super easy to talk to each other and get in, and get excited because we have a lot, like we think very similarly, we like a lot of the same stuff, but we also are different en enough in how we think and what we think about and stuff like that, that we don't just talk about the same thing over and over and over again. And we very, very quickly became best friends. And at some point we started sharing like other stuff with each other. Like I would send her TikToks and she got me into edits, like video edit stuff. And it was just a good time. And I found a TikTok during this period of time of a little animation somebody made saying, will you be my best friend? And it was just the cutest thing. And I was like, I need to send this to her, but I was also nervous to send it to her because we hadn't been friends for that long at this point, but I felt like we were best friends. So I, I sent her a, a message before sending her the, the uh, TikTok where I was like, um, this might be a little weird, I'm a little nervous to send this to you, but here you go. And she responded very positively and I was very excited. <laughs> because we clicked in a way that I had never clicked with a friend before. Like I'd, I'd gotten close with a lot of people, but never to this degree of comfort, like being comfortable with each other that quickly or at all for a lot of friends. So I was like, yes. And we ended up during all this time becoming Facebook friends as well. And we decided, hey, we should just write together and see if like we can help each other out. Because we had talked so much, we had gotten enough motivation and push out of the writer's block zone that we were able to start continuing our stories. And I figured out that my problem was that instead of taking a break to write something else between my first and second story, I was trying to force my way through the next one when my brain just needed a break to think about something else. So I did the something else. So we ended up FaceTiming via, I think it was, yeah, it was via Facebook. I think we tried doing it via Instagram and it like would not connect properly. So we ended up doing it through Facebook, but we uh, connected on video call and started talking to each other while trying to write. And it helped so much. I've discovered I'm a social writer. <laughs> not only did we have each other to talk to whenever we got stuck to kind of let our mind relax before continuing, but we could also ask for advice on how they think we should move on. Like I'd be like, I know I wanna get from here to here, but I don't know how to do this in between part. Or we could be in a situation where, hey, 
this sentence sounds weird in my head, can I read it to you and you tell me how to fix it if it actually needs fixing? Or, hey, can you think of a word for this because I can't? Or being like, hey, I'm super excited about that, about that part that I just wrote, let me read it to you and let's be excited together. And it was just really, really, really helpful. It has helped so much with writing but also with becoming better friends because anytime when we couldn't think of what to write or we ended up uh, not having the energy to write, we would just talk and be friendly and have time with just being friends. <laughs> and it was a really nice way to bond. And without even meaning to, we formed a habit of uh, FaceTiming every other day. And at some point it just kind of became a schedule. <laughs> a couple months ago, actually, we were talking about friendship lamps because she had uh, seen an ad for it, and I legit just straight up bought them for us. And one of the things we use it for is sending a specific color when we're all set up and ready to go for our FaceTimes. It's great. Like, not only have we been able to bond like a ton over just getting to talk, but both of us finished uh, the first thing we were working on, moved on to another story and finished that and are both working on sequels to our original stories. M me working on the original sequel I tried to work on but decided to put to the side so I could give my brain a break, and hers a sequel to the story she had been working on when we met. Like we've written a ton and like we're e we even did a really cool crossover for the ones we're working on right now. Now initially we hadn't actually planned on like going to meet each other for any specific reason, but we did figure out pretty early on that both of us were gonna get married this year. <laughs> before the uh, chaos. <laughs> Both of us had to move it back. We moved ours to next year and they moved theirs to uh, next week for me, last week for you. Uh, so we decided, hey, we can come up and be there for your wedding. And they were like, that would be awesome if you could come. And we were like, then I guess we're coming. <laughs> so uh, because plane tickets were like super cheap with corona stuff happening we're like we're gonna buy them now instead of later so we did and we're gonna gonna slash have go and gone to see them sadly they did have to move it back again because the rona <laughs> but that doesn't change the fact that we're going to see them so we decided hey that means we're just gonna get to spend time together and hang out and have fun so we made like a ton of plans for stuff we wanted to do and uh, we're actually going to get best friend pictures taken, which I am really excited about because I have always wanted to do that. But we also have like games and videos and stuff that we plan on doing together and expect a vlog sometime soon that'll be recorded on my fiance's phone because my phone refuses to work properly, but look for a vlog sometime in the future. <laughs> but yeah, that's how we ended up deciding to go to see them and I'm just, really freaking excited and by the time you see this you'll already have met them and it'll have been amazing but yeah that is how i met my best friend and the friendship we've had thus far so that's information you know now i just really really wanted to talk about my best friend for a minute anyways that's going to be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it but if you didn't that's perfectly okay and perfectly understandable but hopefully i'll see you in the next video anyway so until then i hope your day and or night is just as lovely as you are so bye bye hey what's your instagram my parents said i should follow my dreams <laughs>